This is the uh, CBR 600 RR. It's a 2006 model. The orange black tribal flames. As you can see, it's missing most of the orange and black tribal because I'm uh, decided I'm going to do a once yearly cleaning type thing. And uh, I thought it'd also be interesting to put this on here because a lot of people don't see what's underneath this kind of stuff. Underneath the uh, fairings. <clears throat> kind of expensive stuff to mess with, and I found that out once or twice. But uh, here's your computer just for people that might be interested. And underneath the computer right here is the air box. It runs all the way down to here. You can see this is your air intake and it runs into there. I'll be replacing the uh, air filter here along with getting some velocity stacks for those people that might be interested. Velocity stacks are a cost effective way to raise your horsepower. And I think they are available for most bikes. And they install after taking off all your uh, stuff depending on what you need to take off some people have a gas tank some people have a tank cover which is what I had and you still have to take off the gas tank because this right here will not raise up otherwise so <clears throat> could take anywhere 20 minutes to an hour it all depends um, what are some other things I'm planning on doing uh, right here will be your uh, Scott steering damper um, most people like to have that kind of thing. Way down there, you can see right here, this is the horn. You know, they kind of sound tutti frutti. You're going to change that to a big car horn that is just as uh, compact as that one is right there. Hopefully, I can find one of those for not too cheap. Right here, I already got the CRG roller clicks. Um, they do the job, they do the job. Although, the one over there is hooked up to some less than admirable brakes. Uh, I do have the uh, do have the uh, new kit for the lines. You can see I still got the stock lines, but the uh, steel braided ones will be going on as soon as I get the uh, the what you call it the bleeder. Uh, still got the uh, regular discs from the factory. Maybe I'll get something upgraded at that point. As you can see here, here's part of my uh, air intake that I got rid of. You don't need these at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, just throw them away and you can tape up the hole that's on them. That'll give you a little bit less air intake, but it makes it more like a ram air intake. As a matter of fact, you can take the other part, which is inside the house right now. You can uh, cut that flat and then um, close it off to where it's basically like what a cold air intake would look like on a car and you get a lot more forced air induction at speed on a dyno it might not show up much but when you're actually riding supposedly you can tell the difference <clears throat> we got the uh, Yoshi pipe just a standard among standards you know, just leave that on there it just makes a good sound doesn't give it a lot more horsepower um, you can look here and see that I have the stock Everything else, maybe one day I'll change that, but everybody knows how much that stuff costs. Here's where my best friend in the world, a guy who I do not know, turned in front of me into his driveway, and I laid down the bike right there. The, the fairing right there is also scratched up, as you can see. There's some of it still hanging on the bike. It isn't destroyed, but I am replacing it. Um, it's just kind of a tutorial while the bike was broken down of things that are on it. Uh, people that don't ride might be interested. People that do ride but don't take apart their bikes. This is always fun. You didn't actually have to do anything and you got to see a few things. You know, I don't know everything myself. So if uh, any of you like to know anything. By the way, I just put this back on. I had it all apart. I've been cleaning everything. I'm going to do my little spring cleaning here. So, uh, or I guess it's winter cleaning. But in Hawaii, we don't have much to worry about as far as winter. So, I'm going to keep putting this back together. I'm probably going to leave this off for now because it's so much trouble and I'm getting the uh, new air filter and velocity stack. So, probably be riding around with no gas tank cover, but I don't really care because it still goes the same speed as it always will. There's, there's some more, just so you can see. Yeah. Falling off motorcycles is fun. Alright, take it easy. And uh, if you guys got any questions about something that's going on on this bike or maybe you want me to show you something because you don't want to take yours apart, ask me quick because I'm putting this one back together very soon.